This video is sponsored by Harry's. More on that later. So I got out of my car today and I noticed this. It looks like the cover fell off the left turn signal and now it's just the bare bulb. There's what it's supposed to look like. Right side's got a nice little cover on it. I mean, it still works. I'm just worried that that bulb is gonna get smashed. Hi, um, I have a 2007 Hyundai Accent and the cover fell off of the left fender turn signal. You can't just buy the cover, you'd have to buy the whole thing. But give me one sec. Um, it's not something I keep in stock. Uh, just let me check with Hyundai and see if they have one. Since I have to buy the whole assembly, I think I'm just gonna try to 3D print the lens part myself. Actually, yeah, that's a good, because Hyundai doesn't even have any anyways. Oh, they don't even have any. You'd probably be, in all word of honesty, probably two to four weeks to get this part. Oh, it wow. Coming out of, it would be coming from Korea, and it takes a month to get over here from Korea. Wow. All right, well, I'm gonna try to fix it myself then. Thank you. Let's see how fast we can do this. Timer starting now. So I'll start by taking a photo of the turn signal with a ruler for scale. Try to get it as straight on as possible. And then I'll get another picture of the intact one on the passenger side. So this bulbous part in the middle, how far does this come off? About six millimeters. And then what is the thickness just of this part? Millimeters. I don't know if there's many more measurements we wanna take at this point. I like to just get to a first prototype as fast as possible and then we can always adjust based on that one. Oh, wow, there is a pretty substantial curve on that. That's going to be tricky to match. I wonder if I take a picture from the top, if I can sort of capture that curve. I don't know if that will work. I don't know, the whole thing, it's almost straight actually, like more so than a curve, it's kind of just at a diagonal line. So I think we might be okay with no curve. Yeah, it was an optical illusion. All right, cool. It took about eight minutes to take the measurements and, ooh, is that what my beard looks like right now? I mean, the hair's already a lot, but this is getting a little out of control. I think it's time for a trim. And what better way to shave off my beard than with a fresh German engineered razor from Harry's. Harry's makes premium shaving products at an affordable price and delivers them right to your door. If you're like me and you hate running errands, you'll love the convenience of their starter set with a five blade razor, textured weighted handle, blade cover, and foaming shave gel. And you can set up ongoing refills on your schedule so you always have a fresh shave. My skin is very sensitive, so I really appreciate how the foaming shave gel doesn't irritate my face. It has skin-loving ingredients like aloe and hyaluronic acid, and honestly, it smells really good. The super sharp handcrafted blades and the weighted textured handle means you barely have to apply any pressure to get a clean and comfortable shave. Go to harrys.com slash Morley to get a Harry's trial set for just $5. That's a $13 value for just five bucks. And if you're not satisfied, Harry's offers a 100% money back guarantee. Thank you to Harry's for sponsoring this video and let's get back to the design. I haven't seen that face in a while. <laughs> Now we can take those pictures and insert them as a canvas into Fusion 360. So this one seems the most straight on. Calibrate it to the correct size. One, two, three, four, 11 millimeters. Then I'll insert my other picture from the complete light cover. I don't really know what this is called. We need to flip this because they're mirrored. Perfect. Calibrate one, two, three, four, 12 millimeters. So I'll create a new sketch on here and just start tracing. When you're designing functional parts to fit into a real world thing, it's good to keep in mind that it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect because you'll probably model it to a tighter tolerance than the 3D printer can actually print. We're really just going for a minimum viable product so we can learn and iterate. So base protrusion, we can start with that, 5.5 millimeters. So let's extrude that by 5.5. Ooh. What? Oh, wait a second. What is our units? Millimeters? Wait a second. Oh, I always do this. Ah, I did centimeters for the scaling instead of millimeters. Leave a comment if you saw me making that mistake as I was doing it. Seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten, a hundred. Millimeters, I almost did it again. Do our spline again. I'm gonna be super fast this time. Morley, it doesn't have to be perfect. I know, but this corner looks so bad. 
That looks good. We're at 17 minutes. Not bad, not bad. I think we can get this whole thing done in under an hour. Easily, easily under an hour. Base protrusion. Sweet, and now let's make another sketch on there and just trace this guy. Do, do, do. And let's extrude that by bulb protrusion, even though it's not really the bulb. Turn off our canvas, boom. So let's add a fillet to this, pretty much all the way down, looking good. And let's add a fillet to this edge. Ah, Fusion likes to freak out once you start adding fillets. This is like the thing it's worst at. Okay, I guess we can only add a fillet of three millimeters or 3.678. If we do four, it will fail for no good reason, which is like the most annoying part of Fusion. Okay, that's looking pretty similar to the existing one. Oh, we need to add the little groove for the lip as well. So, oh, I didn't measure, actually we can measure in our sketch. I need to see how far the groove is from the, the edge and we can do a bit of measuring in our canvas. Okay, I don't even know if this is consistent all the way around. In fact, we wanna know the smallest distance. Uh, 1.8 maybe? Let's try 1.3. We, we need to shell this out, but we need a rim that's 1.3 on the edge. Oh, this might be really simple. Modify, shell, and let's make this 1.3. Perfect. Okay, honestly, I think that might be good to print. Where are we at? 22 minutes. So that was only like, we started at eight, quick math. 14 minutes for the design, not bad at all. Let's go ahead and slice this. I love this. Fast 3D printed repairs are so fun. Place it on this face. All right, 38 minutes total time. Let's send it to the printer. Since the printer is doing the work now, I'll go ahead and pause the timer. Actually resuming the timer. So as you might be able to notice, this is clear filament. It doesn't look exactly clear right now because of all the texture from the 3D print, but hopefully the light should be able to shine through it no problem. I'm hoping the support material isn't too bad to remove. PETG is nice and strong, but the support material tends to be a bit of a nightmare. Ah, oh, that's a good piece. This looks great. I am optimistic that we're gonna get this on the first try. Beautiful, look at that. And I'll just use my deburring tool to get off the last remnants of the brim. I'll have a link for this in the description as well as links for all the other tools I used in this project. All right, here we go, moment of truth. Oh my God, are you serious? Ugh. I can't believe it. Because I designed it for the other side, I printed it reversed. Ah, oh, it's the mirror image. <sighs> like it probably fits perfect there. Pretty much exact replica. <sighs> it's all right, it happens. All right, is there anything we can learn from this one? It actually fits pretty well, other than the fact that it's swooping the wrong way. It's actually a hair short on this end. I think we wanna make it about two millimeters longer and maybe four millimeters. Well, luckily we should be able to make all the necessary changes in the slicer. So first things first, let's mirror it. Let's scale it. We can do a non-uniform scale in the Y direction. We just have to calculate the scale factor. One, two, three, four, 144 millimeters long. And we want to add four millimeters to 148. So we can calculate the scale factor. That should be, that's 2.7% scale in the X direction by 102.78. Perfect. It is flipped, it is scaled. Let's try this again. <sighs> Let's try this again. Here we go, moment of truth. Ooh, that is perfect. Wow, that is an absolute perfect fit. And I think this is just plastic painted silver, so we should be good to use CA glue. Spray some activator on the inside of this and press it into place. All right, let's see what the timer's at. 42 minutes. 
time. Didn't I say it would take less than an hour? I think we can get this whole thing done in under an hour. Easily, easily under an hour. That is awesome, let's test it out. So a month to wait for a part to come from Korea or 42 minutes to design a functional 3D printed part. I think that's a no brainer. Thanks again to Harry's for sponsoring this video and for a super smooth shave. To get a trial set for just five bucks, go to harrys.com slash Morley. By supporting my sponsors, you are also supporting this channel. And speaking of support, I wanna give a special shout out to my top supporter on Patreon, my mom, Kathy Kurt. Thanks mom, I love you.